Okay, this. Yeah, let me get a little bit more forward. I think that will help. Okay, I'm coming out. Okay. Okay, let's watch the uh, set of lines as you come out. Yeah. I'll just watch that tether when I go back in. Okay. So for the local down, so it might be able to. Okay. All right, gentlemen, looking great. Glad to see you both out there together on the tip of the world. Uh, we have two good WVS views, and they are spectacular. And Tim Peak now has joined the Copra at the uh, base of the 1B ar solar array right at the very end of the starboard truss of the International Space Station as they uh, begin to set up all of their equipment uh, for the start of the removal of the failed voltage regulator, the sequential shunt unit that uh, failed uh, due to an apparent internal short back uh, November 13th. Yeah, looking. It's um, zero, zero, one, two. That's what we expected and verify the status indicator is pointing to the lock position. And it shows locked. It's about an eighth of an inch from locked. Okay, that's great. Uh, we're ready for the ingress. A couple more. Yeah, Tim, that's perfect framing right there. We like that. <laughs> great. That's poster quality. Guys, we got good KU. We're watching sunset right along with you. Three minutes until we get started here. Copy that. Thanks, Ray. And I do see us uh, getting a little ratty on the comm. That should last for about the next five minutes. Okay, guys, uh, let us talk for just a second. Everything looks good. Just hang out for a second, and we'll give you final words. we still got 17 minutes in working in clips. Sounds good. This work uh, by Copra and Peak uh, is required to properly seat uh, the replacement sequential shunt unit and to lock it in place with the single bolt that they're working with. More torque, uh, a little bit more uh, arm power required uh, to make sure that that bolt is properly seated and that the SSU is locked in place for its activation. Yeah, absolutely. So Feels normal. Okay. I read I'm at the start of a seated car, so all safety tethers look clear, clean. Great news, thanks, Tim. That uh, is the precursor to the uh, full activation of the 1B power channel to restore the station to a full power capability for the first time since November 13th. The crew uh, in the process of wrapping up uh, its inventory and its work outside of the International Space Station. Say again. Just shoot your feet, your knees. I need them. That's right. Okay. Make sure it's clear before you go all the way in. Yeah.
uh, the interview I just uh, completed uh, on console here in Mission Control with the chief of NASA's astronaut office, Chris Cassidy, for those of you who may have just tuned in. We'll get to that in just a few minutes uh, as we uh, continue to watch uh, Tim Peake being assisted out of his extravehicular mobility unit. Detailed photographs were taken of Copra's suit, his liquid cooling garment, and other elements of his spacesuit that uh, will be used for engineering analysis in the days ahead by the spacewalk specialists and the engineering community here at the Johnson Space Center and elsewhere.